Hello everyone, this is Courtney and welcome back to another speed build. So in today's video, I am building a tiny kind of house on wheels. Um, you get this little pulley boat thing, I don't know, trailer. Um, <laughs> you get that in um, using one of the new debug cheats, the uh, show live edit objects cheat. Um, and yeah, I was looking at Pinterest just trying to get inspiration for um, for a build, uh, for a build in general, um, just because I like to kind of stalk Pinterest and look at things. But anyway, I saw this house that was a tiny house on wheels, and I got the inspiration for this um, from that picture. So um, I will put that up in just like a minute or two um, so you guys can see um, when I'm doing the floor plan. It's up there. Um, the picture that I was using but anyway uh, so how I got the floor to that like weird level um, you place a foundation piece and then you go up a level place the foundation piece on top of that so that basically is your ceiling and then you can delete the one on the bottom and then the one on top you can use um, you know the the foundation height arrow in the middle to kind of lower it to where you want it to be. And I'm not sure if that was the problem, but for some reason in this build, you're like, I play tested it. Everything inside works, but your sim can't actually get into the house for some reason. Um, I play stairs and everything. And just for some reason she couldn't get up there. I worked on it for like 20 minutes trying to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. So I do apologize if you do download this house. Um, it is on the gallery. Uh, if you search court, uh, the hashtag Crazy Cordy or my username Crazy Cordy, you can find it. Um, here is that picture that I was talking about um, that I got the inspiration from. So I was kind of basing the floor plan, floor plan around that picture as well. And the color and everything was, you know, I based it on that a lot. But um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, if you do download this for some reason, you will have to teleport your sim in there. Um, if you don't know how to do that, um, I believe you have to have testing cheats on. So... Um, you can open up the cheat console by holding Control Shift C, and then um, type in testing cheats space on. And then um, if you hold down Shift and click on a, the spot in a house, you can tell you'll have an option to teleport your sim in there. So that's what I had to do. Um, I'm really sorry. I've really tried to figure out um, what the problem was. Um, if anybody has an idea, feel free to please let me know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, uh, I didn't have like a budget with this build. I was just, you know, going as it was. I messed around with this kitchen a lot because I was trying to make everything line up and nothing was lining up. Um, so you'll see, I change it later. I cut out a little bit, um, when I was editing the kitchen later on in the video because I added lights underneath the cabinets and they just didn't look right, so then I had to move the cabinets down again, and it was just a big thing. And you'll also notice I forget to add a door to the bathroom for a really long time. But <laughs> I do add it. I, yeah, I did playtest everything, like I said, inside the house. So everything inside does work. If you do decide to download this, you will just have to teleport your sim into the house. Um, unless you can figure out a way to fix it, and then let me know, please, <laughs> because I would really like to fix it. Um, but anyway, so inside I was definitely keeping with the color scheme of the red and black. Um, I brought more black into the house. That The exterior is more red and white, but inside I did red and black mostly. And like I said, I didn't, I didn't have a budget in mind. I just kind of, you know, did what I did. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out how to make those lines disappear from the, the trailer underneath. So if you saw at the beginning when I was doing the floor, like I was trying to pick a black that would match it and nothing would match it. So I ended up, uh, I think, on the, I don't know if I did it on camera. I don't think I did it on camera, um, but I did for the version I uploaded to the gallery, I did raise the foundation or the floor just up one one more tick so that it wasn't showing on the inside. Uh, if you do look really close, you can see that it's like floating above it <laughs> underneath. If you look underneath um, at the wheels, you know, you can see that it's floating, but I thought it was more important for the inside to look nice rather than it to look more realistic like it was sitting on there. But anyway, <laughs> so because I wasn't on a budget, I had a lot of fun cluttering up the place. I don't usually do a lot of clutter on my uh, speed builds that I've posted. Uh, just because a lot of the speed builds that I've done recently have just been like starter homes or for certain 
you know, certain family or a challenge or whatever. And so, yeah, I was, because it's so, because it's a, it's a weird shape. Uh, and it's like, I don't know, because it's like tiny and everything. Like I was just trying to clutter it up, make it look like it was lived in. Um, I do just grab random things sometimes and throw it on the floor, like the magazine thing right there. I just kind of threw it there. There. I finally moved it. (laughs) Um, but yeah, so this is the living area. Uh, just adding lights and clutter around. Um, I had to use this uh, shelf. It's a CC shelf um, that I use sometimes in my builds to, uh, it helps you precisely place things on shelves, um, basically for clutter. And I had to do it a lot with the with the side tables because, I don't know, I just feel like the, a lot of the side tables just seem really large. Like they wouldn't be that big in real life. And so I sized them down one. Uh, just because I don't know, it just seemed weird. And I do that with the Kleenex box too. Cause the Kleenex always seems like it's way too big. Um, so yeah, that's what I was doing. And when you size down the tables, um, when you go to place something on the table, it snaps to the height it's supposed to be at. And so I had to use that shelf to put it at the right height. And I love doing that trick with the vase and putting that plant inside of it. Just, just gives it a different, um, I don't know, a different look, you know, so you're not always using the same plants. And as you saw there, I put a poster or put pictures on that wall where there's, where there needs to be a door eventually. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, here I am just adding those lights, like I said, to the kitchen. Um, I usually don't do that in my builds, but I feel like it's more realistic. Um, a lot of houses or not, I, I don't know, I shouldn't say a lot of houses, but the um, houses I have lived in, we've had lights under there. And so, um, I just thought it was neat to add that back in. And then here I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of clutter that I want to put in the kitchen, um, just grabbing what I need. And then I move it all around here in a second or here. So, yeah, <laughs> I've been talking really fast. I don't know, but I've been trying to do this voiceover. Like, I think this is my fifth attempt because I kept like muddling my words just because it's been so long since I've done one. I feel like it's one of those things that if you aren't doing it on a regular basis, you kind of lose your ability to do it or something. I don't know. But here I was also trying to find a rug that would blend it. I was really just, I didn't want to have to move it, the foundation, because I knew it was going to look like it was floating. But So we ended up going with that rug. I do really like that rug. It looks so nice, and I wish I had it in real life. But um, it blended pretty well, but then, you know, we have the, the, um, that line on the other side. So, oh, here was a cut and I moved it off camera. So now there's no more line, (laughs) but yeah, so here we're working on the bathroom. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is, it's, I don't know, because it's a house on wheels, I feel like it should be considered a tiny home, but it's not really that tiny. And obviously it's not a starter home. It's not cheap. It's like, I think it was like 44,000 simoleons or something like that. Um, Because I was just, you know, going crazy using what I wanted to use. I wasn't looking for the cheapest of everything like I normally would do when I build. Because I build a lot of starter homes just because I feel like that's what people like to play with. I guess. I don't know. (laughs) But that's what I like to play with anyway, a lot of times. Um, I don't use money cheats very often unless I am... I don't know. I actually really haven't used money cheats in a really long time. Um, I am playing uh, off screen. I have a, I'm doing a build new crest legacy challenge, which you start with one family and then you have to play through 10 generations and each generation uh, is in charge of building a community lot in a neighborhood or one or the other. I can't remember. Uh, But so I'm on Generation 5, and we have almost 5 million simoleons uh, so far. So, you know, we're not hurting for money. So, uh, and that's, I play that a lot uh, just because it's a lot of fun. It's the longest I've ever played with one family, like five generations. I don't think I've ever even done that in the older Sims games. But anyway, now we're decorating the bedroom, and the the space right here is a little tight when I was play testing my sim one I, I made sure that she could get to the other side and she couldn't at, at first so I do move the dresser and bed into the wall a little bit um, off camera 
um, for the uploaded version to the gallery. So everything is usable. Um, I did make sure that, uh, that it was fixed <laughs> for the version that is uploaded to the gallery. So, um, I just don't like doing playtesting on camera. So that's what a lot of my builds are. I'll just, you know, do what I do. Hopefully it works. And then once it, you know, once I'm done with the build, then I'll do a, you know, that then I will play test it. Um, after I stop recording and if you know nothing if something doesn't work then I fix it off camera um, for the gallery so but yes we are almost done decorating and now we're moving I think actually we are done with the inside now I'm just going for landscaping and using that show live edit objects uh, cheat um, to get some free landscaping <laughs> because I just thought that was fun and Landscaping is expensive, and I mean it is in real life too, so it kind of makes sense, but I wanted to just kind of use some different things that I normally wouldn't use because we do have different different kinds of flowers and different kinds of bushes in the debug menu than we do normally um, for the, like the menu where you have to buy everything, so I was kind of using stuff. I wanted to put a couple things underneath that, you know, low-lying bushes that would be you know, they don't need a lot of light to grow. But anyway, we are coming up to the end of this build. There are some screenshots in just a minute. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And like I said, this is available on the gallery. If you search Crazy Cordy, my username, or Crazy Cordy, the hashtag. And thank you. I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.